Artificial intelligence and machine learning are two of the hottest concepts in 2017 for software development. Companies like Apple, Google, and Microsoft are investing heavily in these areas, but it still remains out of reach for a lot of software developers due to complexity. Companies like Clarify are providing simple APIs that allow you to do things like image recognition. For instance, Clarify has an API that allows you to do image recognition with a simple HTTP request. Let's build an image recognition application using Python, Twilio, and Clarify. It'll take an image sent in via an MMS and pass it through Clarify's image recognition API to see what concepts can be detected in that picture. Let's head to the terminal right now and get to work. We'll start by creating a virtual environment for our project, which we'll call image recognition. I'll change into that directory and activate the virtual environment. Next, we'll use pip to install the Flask, Clarify, and Twilio libraries. Once those are installed, we'll head over to Clarify to create our Clarify application. Go into their dashboard and click Create New Application. We'll name it Twilio MMS Image Recognition and create the app. Inside of our application, we'll find an API key that we'll need for our application to authenticate our Clarify account. Take that into the terminal and export it out as an environment variable so that we can use it from code out of our environment. Next, we'll create a tags.py file that'll hold the code that'll fetch our concepts from the image recognition. We'll pull in the Clarify app from the clarify.rest module and create a Clarify app object. To find a function called get relevant tags that's going to take an image URL and pass it through Clarify. We'll grab the tag URLs using the image URL from the Clarify app and store the response data. Next, we'll loop through the response data. It's JSON structure that has an outputs node. We'll check the first node and look at the data concepts underneath it. And for each tag URL, we'll append the concepts name to our tag URLs array and return it. For testing purposes, we'll add a print statement here that'll just loop through all of the tags and print them out to the screen. I'll need an image URL though, so let's head over to Google and get one from Philadelphia. This is the Love Park sign. We'll paste that in and we'll run our Python code and we get back some results that indicate that this is a city architecture business downtown kind of picture. Awesome. Now let's write an application that will allow us to take in a text message that includes a picture. We'll make a Flask web app, so we'll need Flask and request out of the Flask module, and then we'll get messaging response out of the Twilio helper library. We'll also pull in our get relevant tags function from the tags file that we just wrote. Next, we'll create the Flask app, and it's going to contain a slash SMS route that we'll give to Twilio for when a text message comes in. We'll create a messaging response to respond to the incoming text message. We'll check to see if the text message included a picture by checking the num media form parameter. If it has a num media, then we'll grab the first media URL, that's media URL zero as a parameter, out as the image URL. We'll grab the relevant tags by calling the get relevant tags function that we just implemented, passing in the image URL that came from Twilio. Finally, we'll respond with the tags joined into a single string to return back as the text message will send back to the originating phone number. If there wasn't a URL, we'll tell the person that they need to send a picture for this to work. Finally, we'll return the string representation of the messaging response. And lastly, we'll spin up our Flask application. We'll run python app.py to start up the server and it'll fire up on localhost port 5000. Unfortunately, we can't reach localhost port 5000 without doing some tunneling, so we'll use ngrok to tunnel port 5000 through to a publicly addressable URL. Copy that URL and we'll head over to Twilio to buy a phone number for our application. I'll search for a 215 area code phone number and buy this Philadelphia area phone number. We'll head into phone number setup and I'll paste in our ngrok URL and add slash SMS to it. This will pass incoming text messages through our Flask application. Once it's done saving the number setup, I can take out my phone and give the application a try. Send a picture through to our application 
and it'll run it through Clarify and return the tags. That's really all there is to it to use Clarify to do image recognition. Give it a try in your own applications and let us know what you build. That's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please click or tap the Twilio logo on the bottom left to subscribe so you know when we make more. If you want to get the code, there's a button in the bottom right for that. And if you want to watch another video, I picked one just for you. Until next time, I'm out of here.